at the crossroads, the myth goes you can supposedly sell your soul to the devil and from him be gifted wealth and fame, talent, whatever you desire. I know somebody who went to these crossroads, a friend of mine. And instead of those temptations, he simply asked to be let free. The devil smiled because they had met before and he said, I can't. You already paid me. You bought a prison cell, three hots and a cot. Boy, you have no responsibility. Where's my thank you? My friend opened his eyes and he heard all the other men in his block asking the same thing. All the other men just like him, young and black, staring at the walls, talking to the devil, asking him to see their families again, asking him how he tricked them so easily, how he wormed his way into our ecosystem, the predator with iron barred teeth and a red tape tongue. This serpent, constrictor, owns justice and glides his body over you with circumstances and disadvantages, with temptation, drags you to the crossroads and gives you a choice. Let him consume you or ride free, venture into the darkness, no direction, and maybe you make it. Maybe you don't. Maybe you have the audacity to drive a car, to own a cell phone, to go to church. Maybe you have the audacity to do all those things and be black, and maybe you get shot. The serpent knows that eating men is ugly and it's wrong, so he's careful. He hides himself in the tall grass news anchors and tells the people that those he ate had it coming. He picks his teeth with their bones on camera and shows the people their mugshots. Shows the people every stupid photo they took when they were younger. My friend got dragged to these crossroads, and still I blamed him for it all. I thought I was immune to the monster that ate black boys, but instead I listened to him. Agreed with him. Agreed with everything that I hate. I filled in the blanks of his story with styrofoam stereotypes that can't even stand in the wind, but they were anchored in my mind. Inside, I called him a thug. Told him his life was over. Condemned another soul to the sin of black skin. This serpent was so full in my stomach that his fangs were in my ear. And they dripped poison so softly that I had a strain to hear. So watch for him. A snake in the grass eating black kids, you'd think he'd be hard to miss, but look at me. His prey. And even I couldn't resist. So watch for him, for his abuse is as elusive as it is depraved. Watch for him, as there are lives that must be saved.